Hello everyone, this is Mike the Tech. Welcome back to our platform tutorial. Uh, so today we're going to attempt to create some objects to collide with, our platforms, as well as some um, collisions to move left and right. And we're going to use a, a method usually used in code, but we're going to try and do it in drag and drop today to um, make sure that we can keep everything in drag and drop without using too much code um, for those of you who are new to design. Once we're done with the game, we'll go ahead and convert this to code so that you can see what all of these values do. Um, but for now, we're going to try and do this um, in drag and drop. So the first thing we're going to do is create an object to collide with. So we're going to right click an object, go to create and choose object. There we go. And we're going to call this obj underscore wall. Now uh, we need to assign a sprite and we don't have a sprite yet. So let's go ahead and um, let me actually see if we have some uh, sprites that we can use for this. All right, so we're going to go into the platformer pack redux pack from kenny.nl. Um, and we're going to find the PNG folder and the ground folder. Let's go ahead and look at dirt. Mm, I don't really like that one. Let's see. Oops. No. What? Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and open up this uh, grass center because it's just a dirt tile. And let's make it uh, 64 by 64. We're also going to choose the point of origin as middle center. And uh, we're going to name it SPR underscore wall. All right. So let's go into our wall again and assign this sprite to the wall. And we can go into our room and place some of these walls into our scene. Make sure you click on the instances layer so that you can place walls. You can see that we have a few here. You can also hold alt and that'll let you draw walls. And we're actually going to use a uh, similar layout to what Sean Spaulding did in his code, tuto code tutorial. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so this should allow us to move back and forth and then have something to test when we run into a wall. So let's go ahead and press play and make sure that we can move at least. And again, we're using our arrow keys to move. And we see that we're in our level, but our character can go right through that wall. So let's open up the player and see what we can do to change that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go to add event. And we're gonna make a collision with our wall. And in this uh, wall collision, oh, he's already working here a little earlier. In this wall collision, we're gonna go ahead and add a variable and change our horizontal speed to zero. And what this should do is if we press the right arrow key all the way to the right, it should stop us from going past this. It should set our speed to zero every time it touches the wall. We're gonna go left and the same thing should happen when we move to the left. It sets our horizontal speed to zero. All right, great. In the next episode, we're going to be adding um, gravity as well as collisions with the floor tiles and jumping. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and sorry for the delay on this one. I'll make sure the next one's out a little quicker. <laughs> Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We also now have a join button, so you can now join our membership for $1.99 to get access to all of our live streams or $4.99 to get your name in your videos um, as a supporter. So in all of the videos that I release, you'll get your name at the end of the video as a supporter. Um,
We also have uh, Stream Savers, which is now available for pre-order and the beta is now working. Stream Savers is a gacha style um, RPG idle clicker game that lives in your um, live stream. So if you stream on Twitch, you can actually have uh, your audience interact with your characters on, on screen and even drop into the game themselves um, in PvP mode. So it's a pretty cool application and we recently got picked up by uh, Streamlabs OBS to release in their app store as well. So if you're a Prime member, you may actually get that for free soon. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for watching the video and um, do any and all of those things that I mentioned. Uh, yeah, love you guys. Have a great one. Peace.